What's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our life in Holland. We are the Bingham family. If you are new here, welcome to our channel. Thanks for being here. We are having a very routine school day. The kids are home from school. Ava actually just got back from music class today, which is so fun. We are at the dentist office for a very important reason today. We have an appointment for Mr. Ashy over here because I was talking to him last week and all of a sudden I realized he has a chipped front tooth. On this tooth right here, you can see there's a little chip out of the corner of it. And I said, Ashy, you have a chipped front tooth? And he said, I do? He did not know that his front tooth was chipped and he has no idea how it happened. When I discovered Ashton's chipped tooth, I asked him if he remembered bumping it or if he tripped. And he doesn't remember anything significant happening. So it's a mystery, we don't know how he chipped his front tooth, but we're bummed because it's a permanent tooth. If it was a baby tooth, we wouldn't be so worried about it, but. It's not only a permanent tooth, it's his front tooth. It's front and center when he smiles. So we're gonna find out what the doctor says today. They just barely did an x-ray to make sure that there isn't anything else going on, like if he had some sort of a bad fall. But I think if he had had some sort of a bad fall, he would have at least remembered it. So, I don't know. Curious to see what the dentist thinks. In the meantime, Ashy's just living his best life over here, <laughs> watching a movie on the ceiling. All right, we got the x-rays back and there's no trauma in the x-rays. I asked them what most commonly causes a chipped front tooth and they said the edge of a swimming pool, like they can hit their mouth on the edge of a swimming pool or they can fall like on the playground or fall off of a scooter and the impact can chip your tooth. He actually said that you can fall and have a big impact that causes weakness in the tooth, but it actually doesn't chip or fall off until a few days later. Ashley, how was it? Getting numbed. Good. I can't really talk. Does your lip feel funny now? Yeah. Like I can't really, oh, like, I'm like stuck. See yeah. it? You said it made your eyes water? Yeah. Because it stung. So like I woke me up and made my ice water. Can you see like the big fat spot? <laughs> now it looks like you really did fall and chip your tooth. Mm -hmm. Now you've got the fat lip to go with it. All right, so the solution to making his front tooth look good as new is to get something called buildup, which is basically like a filling. So we're getting that done right here, right now. So he's all numbed up and ready to go. By the time we walk out of this office, you're never gonna know he had a chipped tooth. 10 years ago, <laughs> there's a company that made the fillings in different colors. Why did they stop? Uh, didn't sell very good. <laughs> <laughs> That's understandable. <laughs> so, Ashley, what do you think? Pink or white? Okay. You want pink. a pink tooth? Cool, huh? <laughs> Ashley, how long did he say that your lip would be numb for? Six months. <laughs> Six months? You're gonna have a fat lip for six months? I don't know. Was he teasing? Yeah. How long is it really gonna be? Um, Two to four hours? Two, whatever, I can't even see it. <laughs> it's because it's so hard to talk right now. Hard, like, every time I try to talk, but like, my whole mouth needs to talk, so like, it's just like, it's forcing me just not to talk, so <laughs> like, I might sound like, I can't say my R. <laughs> Far, Can guess. you smile? Yet yeah, or not really? Look at that beautiful smile. Oh my goodness, your front teeth look so good. Now what did he tell you? Treat it like a glass tooth. Baby tooth, kind of glass tooth. Baby it, yep. Be super careful because it's not quite as strong as a regular tooth. All right, we are back at the lake today. We are doing some after school boating today. Turin invited a whole bunch of his friends to come out on our boat with us. We got a babysitter for Ashton, Landon, and Ava. And we're just having a little friend day for Turin. We're gonna do some tubing, some surfing. We actually picked up some pizzas and some breadsticks, some drinks. So we are just gonna enjoy a little after school boat session. Beautiful weather. It still feels like summer out here. Looks like fall on the mountains with all the beautiful bright colors. And the lake is very quiet with it being a Tuesday afternoon which we can't complain about either. So we're gonna get out there and have some fun.
successfully gotten every single person in this boat up on the surfboard, not just trying to surf, but successfully surfing. And the sun is going down. This is my favorite time of night. And we have gotten the tube out and we are gonna do some tubing. <laughs> All right, the sun is going down and it's a school night. So Justin and I are calling it. Turin is not very happy with us right now. And uh, but I'm calling it a successful night. We had a great time and we went through four boxes of pizza, three bo bags of breadsticks, and half of this giant tub of snacks over here. Gatorades, root beers, most of it's gone. We went through Skittles more than anything because we threw them to pretty much everybody who was surfing back there. <laughs> and I think about one out of every 100 actually made it into someone's mouth. Actually, you guys caught quite a few. No, I caught like, I caught three in my mouth. So very few actually went straight to their mouth, but they caught a lot of them. Turin really wanted to night surf with his friends. I cannot blame him because the water is so glassy. It is our favorite in the whole world, but we're not giving in tonight. We're just gonna have to go another time on a weekend when these kids don't have school in the morning. You guys, we had so much fun today with Turin and his friends. They were such a fun group of kids. Oh, they actually pulled up to this boat as we were getting out. Let's have a competition to see who has more hype. And I was, I'm not a cool parent, supposedly, because <laughs> I'm a hype man at, at the moment. And so both boats turn up their music and it's a, you know, stomp the yard now like competition in each boat. It was actually really hilarious. <laughs> It was when they were pulling the boats in, so the boats were really close to each other because they were, they were trailing like pulling the boats, onto yeah. the trailer. It was hilarious. I didn't know what was going on because I was backing the trailer in, so I turn around and the lights are on our boat and they're all just, just a dance party. total dance party. Yeah. I was like, what is going on and why am I not on the boat right now? Anyway, so just a ton of fun. And what was shocking is everybody got up on the surfboard and surf. And I think only maybe, so four of the kids knew how to surf. The other ones, it was their first time. I think there was another four. And every single one of them got up for uh, the first time and actually surfed without the rope, which was pretty uncommon to be honest with you. I was really impressed. And we never have enough time out there, no matter what no. group we're with, no matter what day it is, we never want to no. get off the lake. So we could have kept going. Turin really wanted to go night surfing with us friends but we came home Ashton's tooth is looking amazing he was so brave at the dentist he just kind of laughed when they numbed his tooth he just laughed and he was like oh that's making my eyes water <laughs> the dentist did an amazing job Ashton's tooth is looking awesome and uh, we still don't know how he chipped it so. <laughs> It's like the biggest mystery, yeah. but it actually doesn't surprise me that much because he is just your typical little boy that is jumping off of scooters and doing flips. And yeah. it's like, did it happen at the swimming pool? Did it happen with him riding bikes? Mm -hmm. I mean, it could have been any of those things. Really? <laughs> so, you don't know. And I'm hopeful that it's the last, but I don't know. I, I, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm thinking, so. Well guys, listen, thank you so much for watching today's video. More boating videos to come, so hope you're enjoying them. If you guys are new to our channel, thank you and welcome to our life in Holland. As always, however, be sure to smash the like button on this video if you enjoyed it, right? Subscribe down below and uh, turn on those notification bells because we are going to see you tomorrow.